students so today we are going to learn about the universal law of gravitation up to this point we learned about different different ideas that what can be gravity or this force of gravitation between any two objects okay right now we are going to understand this in perspective of isaac newton okay so basically newton after all of these studies and calculations and crunching all the numbers he concluded that not only does the earth attract the apple or the moon but actually all objects in this universe attract each other so the whole conclusion was if any object if any object has any kind of mass that object will possess some gravity that means if this is object a and this is object b and both the objects have some mass and they are in the vicinity of each other they will attract each other it doesn't matter if the object is very large it doesn't matter if the object is very small if the object has mass there will be gravity so basically the statement of this law that is the universal law of gravitation is as is every object in the universe attracts every other object okay so every object in this universe attracts every other object with a force which is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them okay the force is along the line joining the center of two objects all right now this statement seems a little bit messy or a little bit chaotic but in reality it's a very simple statement and we will try to understand what its mathematical meaning is okay so first of all let's go step by step every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force which is proportional to the product of their masses that means the gravitational force is somehow dependent on masses of the body okay and what is the relationship of this dependence the relationship is directly proportional therefore i can say that basically this force is directly proportional to the product of their masses so here you can see there are two masses mass a b okay let us say this is mass m a and its mass is m b okay force is directly proportional to the product of these that means i can write f is directly proportional to m a multiplied by m b there you have it let us move ahead Pro, uh, is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them so this means force is also uh, somehow related to the distance between the two masses okay what is the relationship it is inverse okay but it is inverse of the square of the distance therefore f is inversely proportional to d squared this means in this universe if there are any two objects that is mass m a mass m b and they are separated by some distance d they will experience some force and that force will be directly proportional to the product of both the masses and inversely proportional to the square of distance this was newton's universal law of gravitation okay the further equation that we derive is just a consequence of this but in reality in the core concept the main law that we have is f is directly proportional to these products that is of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of distance okay so there you have the universal law of gravitation mm -hmm.